Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back with a very special episode of the Dan Classic Show. And why the hell are we back here so soon for another show? Yep, this was supposed to be an off week, but then something I pre-ordered back when it was cold outside came in the mail. So, you're just gonna crap out an episode, eh? That's exactly what I'm doing, because it's Series 1 of the AEW Unrivaled Figures by Jazzwares. Finally, some wrestling stuff. Raz Holly, hit the music! Never hear it on the radio Never hear it on a TV show And it always is a nerd Never ever feel no pain Who the fuck do you think we're playing? As long as we are here And it always is a nerd Playing for rock it is our game Make the readers bleed all the same Pass me another beer AEW. I'll try to give you the short explanation. Even so, the origins of the company go back a bit further than its official formation in 2019. In 2017, some schmuckatelli on Twitter asked Dave Meltzer, wrestling and sports journalist, if Ring of Honor would be able to promote an event that drew over 10,000 fans. Meltzer's answer was not anytime soon. Cody Rhodes, son of legendary wrestler Dusty Rhodes responded that he would take that bet and things escalated from there. What started as a simple question on Twitter became the biggest non-WWE live event in North America since 1993. Promoted by Cody and the Young Bucks in association with Ring of Honor, All In was a huge success drawing over 10,000 fans to the Sears Center in Chicago. Pretty much every great wrestler not signed to WWE was in attendance, including Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho. The success of this show would snowball over the next two years, culminating in the formation of AEW. Tony Khan, owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars and longtime wrestling fan, gathered the best minds and talent together to form All Elite Wrestling. And so far, it's been pretty fucking cool. This year, Jazzwares released Series 1 of the AEW Unrivaled Figures. The first series includes six highly articulated figures. Cody, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks Matt and Nick Jackson, Brandy Rhodes, and Chris Jericho. There's also an exclusive Chris Jericho figure that comes in special packaging and includes the AEW title belt. I pre-ordered all the figures ages ago, and they just got here, so let's open them up and see what they look like. So let's get things started with figure number one of the AEW Unrivaled Collection, as is notated right there in the bottom left corner, Cody. And um, you can see the packaging, it's pretty cool. Um, I like the modern packaging in which you can just open it up from the bottom and uh, slide these things out. You don't have to mangle it um, to get it, to get the figure out. Uh, if you do happen to want to keep something in the box long term, you don't have to buy more than one of them. You can just get the one and then, you know, after you're done, you put it away and you can display it on the wall or whatever the fuck you want to do with it. We're going to open this up and see what it looks like inside, but first let's take a look at the yard on the box. We've got a picture of Cody, there he is, and we can see the figure. We've got the full figure displayed, the whole thing, you can see it, there's not, it's not a lot of bullshit covering up things or, or trying to hide what's going on in here. You can tell that it's a pretty good looking figure and we'll find out more as we open it up. We've got the AEW logo at the top. We have the name down the side here we have a logo there and on the back we have a photograph uh, showing from double or nothing may 25th 2019 las vegas nevada all of the series one figures have double or nothing photographs the uh, costume or 
uh, gear that the wrestlers are wearing are from that event. Um, these are like the, it's like the double or nothing edition figures uh, in series one. We have the cross sell or collect them all. On the back here, Cody, Chris Jericho, Brandy Rhodes, Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson, and Kenny Omega. And, uh, and this is pretty much going to be the same for every single one of these figures. But let's take a look at some more. <sighs> All right, here we go. I thought I wasn't going to have to do this. I wasn't going to have to do this um, on this episode, but here we go. Um, so remember when I said like a fool earlier that I like how, you know, modern figures, you can, they have these in these collector's packages that if you, if you wanted to, if you, if you wanted to, you could you could keep these. You could keep these in the in the fucking in the goddamn fucking fucking box and take it out when you want. As you see, there's it's it's a fucking bubble. It's a bubble underneath um, underneath all the all the all the show. So let's get these goddamn things open. Okay, so let's start it out with Cody, number one. Um, here he is with his uh, with his sledgehammer. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, this sledgehammer. Let's take a look at the accessory here. Um, this is a, we'll take not a long look because this is pretty much your standard stuff that you're gonna see that comes with your wrestlers has been coming with them for years. Um, kind of according to the entrance uh, that he had at Double or Nothing. This is what he had in his hand. He smashed a throne with it. It was pretty cool. Um, this isn't, I thought it was going to be made out of like the soft plastic, but it's actually pretty hard and um, I like it. It looks cool. Um, and then we have Cody. Let's take a look at Cody himself. Very fucking nice looking figure. Um, the facial sculpt is good. I don't think they used a real scan. I think they had actually someone go in and sculpt the motherfucker and you're going to get better results when you do that, especially if you use somebody that knows what they're doing. It's a very nice looking sculpt. Very nice looking. He's got his tattoo tattoo on his chest here um it, it, it looks you know it doesn't look like it's you know just painted on there it looks like a tattoo it's kind of almost like the fade into the skin very cool um he is uh this is before he had the crazy neck tattoo <laughs> of course this is his entrance at double or nothing as we said before he has his weight belt it's removable uh, it's got a little little uh, connector right there in the front um and as you can see it says attitude killer uh in in gold on the uh, on the belt and uh yeah there he is he's cody the the he has basically the articulation of a marvel legends figure he is about the same size as a marvel legends figure um i'll, I'll show you right now all right so here's iron man for scale um so yeah, they're roughly the size of Marvel Legends figures. They have basically the same articulation. They've got the, the mid crunch. They got all the arms and wrists and horse shit that moves around, the knees bend. You can, you can make them do a backflip and shit. Pretty fucking cool, that's Cody. All right, and here we have Kenny Omega um, in his uh, goodbye, good night, bang pose. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got the great entrance gear, uh, the same entrance gear from uh, from Double or Nothing. Uh, man, really cool, same articulation, great looking sculpt. He has his little beard. He has his, uh, you know, the body looks good. Um, the paint job, these paint jobs are great. Uh, you can see on down the side of the leg there, um, the detail, like the airbrushed little graphics on the uh, on the tights and the boots and uh, the knee pads here. Very cool. Um, I don't know if the knee pads are separate. Are they? I don't know. I don't know if the knee pads are separate. Um, we could have painted the ball joints. 
There's a critique I have here because in this pose he looks like his um, his nutsack's fucking hanging out. Now you see, um, here you go. Here's the fucking thumbnail for the video. <laughs> anyway, um, that's Kenny Omega. He he has the one wing on the back there. Um, very cool. A very cool looking figure. Um, yeah. These are dope. I'm, I'm glad I got these, even though I do have little criticisms here and there about them. They are very nice looking and they'll look really good displayed. It's too bad I had to decide to fucking open them up now because now I gotta find a place to put these goddamn things. And I, 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 was, I didn't, wasn't thinking that I was gonna have to do that just yet. Moving right along, we've got three and four, Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks in their Elvis gear um, from obviously Double or Nothing. Very cool looking sculpts. Uh, Nick's face looks great. He's got the headband, just like always. The hair color is, is perfect. It's got that like that brownish, blondish color hair he's got. Um, great looking sculpt. Uh, the, the paint job on Matt Jackson's face is a little bit. I don't know what they were going for here. Um, this is one of my one of my tiny critiques here. But you know, from far away, it's not really gonna fucking hurt anything. And these are these are still great looking toys, and they're not. And these aren't expensive either. It's about twenty bucks a piece. Very cool. And again, in scale with the uh, with the Marvel Legends. So if you want to have the Marvel Legends square off with your AEW roster, you'll be able to do that too. These uh, outfits they do come off. Um, you can take them off, put them on. You can uh, you know have them put them back in the box. I guess can't really put them back in the box because fucking I had to open them. But anyway, um, very cool, very cool looking figures. There's the Young Bucks. Coming in at number five, it's Brandy Rhodes. She doesn't come with anything, but this is her outfit and it looks a lot like her. And you gotta give Jazzwares props because here is a lady wrestler um, with that doesn't look like a hideous monster in their action figure. Hey, there you go. Uh, Mattel has been struggling with this for fucking years. I don't know what it was. I mean, at least with Jack Pacific, you, you fucking expected it. But with uh, with Mattel, I, I don't know what the fucking problem is. Maybe it's the real scan thing. It's like, look, dude, you, you get somebody to come in that knows what they're doing to do a sculpt, and you'll you'll get something that looks like who it's supposed to be. But you, you kind of avoid that weird uncanny valley thing you get with the real scan. Um, which you know what? On on this size figure, on the 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 one. 12 figure it's really difficult to get that get that look on the paint job and especially keep the figure in a good price range so i, I liked how these turned out it's pretty cool she's just as poseable as anybody else knees ankles twisties all that good stuff she can mm, do the hula just like grass holly likes to do like uh, 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 uh. okay and finally here is the little bit of the bubbly uh special edition here exclusive Ringside Collectibles Exclusive WrestlingFigures.com Figure out what you want to call yourselves, guys. This actually came a couple of weeks before the rest of the figures got here. Um, we have the signature in gold across the top here and a picture of Chris Jericho. It looks like a champagne bottle. Um, and you can actually get the, the actual little bit of the bubbly champagne. Um, you can go to a website and buy it. Um, I'm not really a champagne guy, but heard it's pretty good um, but let's get this thing open and see what's inside and I know already that it, I don't have to destroy the packaging to get it open which is awesome because this isn't, isn't a bad fucking uh, piece of packaging here and I, I wouldn't want to destroy it but inside we have all of these lovely accessories so I'll set it up and we'll take a look and see what we got so let's take a look. Here he is, Chris Jericho with the AEW World Heavyweight Championship belt. His tattoos look fucking amazing. Um, he's got the microphone. He's got this <laughs> look on his face. He looks baked. Um, <laughs> and it's uh, taken from, and he has the little bit of the bubbly t-shirt. Um, that, that, I mean, it's from the, uh, right after he won the belt. Uh, they had this situation here where he had all this crap and he was talking about drinking a little bit of the bubbly and uh, became a t-shirt now everybody loves it and um, and yeah and it became this this figure and this is the only way to get the AEW world heavyweight title belt for the figures uh, right now um, I mean I guess you can buy one off a fucking scalper or something that, that's a way to get it um, but yeah 
yeah, there it is. It's pretty fucking cool. And again, same figure. He's just as poseable as everybody else. Um, you can actually see more of the tattoos and stuff because he's not wearing his entrance gear on this one. Um, pretty neat. Um, I enjoy this one. Um, I, I enjoy all these figures. This is a great set of things. And another cool thing about this table, check it out. Oh! Well, that's it for series one. Did you pick these up? Were you even able to find them? Let me know down in the comments. We really like to know what you think. And I think this would have been a better episode had you put more time into it. Oh, shut up, Jess. Raz Holly, hit the music.